artists, it's Ms. Messer, your friendly neighborhood art teacher. And today I'm here to help you get started making a map. We're gonna use this map to make a playground sculpture. We're gonna be playground architects. And I cannot wait to see what you come up with. So here's our first step in starting our playground sculpture architecture artwork. All right, everybody. What I'm starting with is some markers and a piece of paper. You could use white paper. You could use a piece of notebook paper. You could use colored paper. It's up to you. I found this really nice light blue sheet of paper that I wanted to use. And I'm going to pretend that I'm a bird and that I'm flying above my playground. And then I'm looking down and I see all the different parts of it from above. So I might start by drawing some path lines. So maybe my playground has, oops, let's see if I can get you to be able to see it. Okay, maybe my playground has some sidewalks that are wavy lines and they kind of divide the playground into different parts. It looks like my marker's drying out. So I'm gonna use a different marker, but I'm definitely gonna put my cat back on it. Um, so I've got some pads here and I'm going to put some different colors in for where I want different things to be. So maybe over here is just going to be some grass. And then later I might add something on top of that grass. Well, that looks pretty good so far. Maybe right next to my grass is a pond. And that's a big organic shape. That's a shape with curvy lines on the side. And I might color that pond in blue for water. Yeah, that's looking good. Make sure it's nice and neat, everything colored in nicely. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see, I might add some waves to that. Yeah, so everybody definitely knows it is a pond. I might add, so, oh, I could add some lines to my sidewalk. Let's see, what else what might I see if I was flying above my playground? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I've got a lot of space over here. So I might add another kind of organic shape. And maybe this is where I'm going to put the slide. And I'm going to put... Um, sort of like the playground equipment, the stuff that I can um, bounce around on or crawl on or jump on. Um, but this is gonna be kind of a soft landing pad for any of the kids who are playing on my playground so that they don't hurt themselves when they fall. They've got kind of a soft landing pad underneath them. That's a good idea. I wanna make sure my playground is safe because I really care about all the people who would come to my playground. I just absolutely love to color with you. It is one of my favorite ways to spend the day, coloring together. It's awesome. And you know, I didn't have to do this black. I could have done like a rainbow. I could have done my favorite colors. I could have done whatever I wanted on here because it's my playground and I get to decide because I'm the artist. Okay, I have lots of blank space over here. Something else that's sometimes in the park is trees. So maybe I'll add some leafy green trees. Or maybe these are bushes. Actually, I think I'm 